The Series 1 Google Meet Room Kit has everything you need to set up a modern conference room space for you and your team. In this video, we will show you how to set up your Series 1 kit. With three pre-configured kits and the ability to add on components, Series 1 kits are as versatile as they are innovative. The pre-configured kits come in small, medium, and large. For this video, we will go over the components of the Medium Room Kit. Inside the box, you will find a smart camera, smart audio bar, mic pod, Meet Compute System, and Touch Controller. The Meet Compute System is the only component that requires power. The other components are powered through Ethernet cables. An additional audio bar or mics can be daisy-chained to make expanding the system as easy as possible. The Meet Compute System has a stand that connects to it through a magnetic side. On the back of the Meet Compute System, you have a power button, 3.5mm audio jack, a USB-C port, one HDMI import, two HDMI out ports, three USB-A ports, a yellow Ethernet port for your network, a pinhole size reset button, three Ethernet ports for your components, a red Ethernet port for your smart audio bar, and a port for your AC power. The HDMI in port will be used for presenters in the conference room to connect their computer to the front of room display. This system can support up to two external HDMI displays in your conference room. The external peripherals and the medium room kit are color-coded. Connect your conference room Ethernet cord to the yellow Ethernet port. The green-tipped Ethernet cord will connect the touch controller. Run the cable through the guide on the back of the touch controller and cover the cord with the backplate in the kit. Install the two screws to secure the backplate on the device. The smart audio bar is connected with the red cable into the red port on the back of the Meet Compute system. You must make sure you are using the red cable connected to the red port. The cable and port put out more power required for the audio bar. Depending on your conference room setup, the audio bar can be positioned on a table or mounted to a wall using the hardware of the box. If you have a large kit, you'll have two similar looking audio bars. Always connect the primary audio bar, which is the audio bar that has more ports, to the compute system and daisy chain the add-on audio bar to the primary. The mic pod and audio bar are designed to work together. Always plug the first mic pod into the port on the smart audio bar. Subsequent mic pods are daisy chained off of the first mic pod. Connect the smart camera and any other extra peripherals to the remaining free ethernet ports. Now you are ready to connect the AC power and boot your device. For more information on your smart devices, visit smartsupport.lenovo.com.